Uh, hi everyone, I'm Archana and I work on uh, prion diseases or mad cow disease as most of you would know it. Um, but we work with fruit flies, so we like to call the flies that have the disease the mad flies or the, you know, the disease, mad fly disease. Um, so prion diseases are really interesting because it's caused by a single protein that changes its shape and then this bad misfolded protein accumulates in the brain and causes a neurodegenerative disease that is fatal. And there are currently no cures for the disease. Um, and in this respect, it's actually similar to other neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's. So we're hoping that what we find can apply to other neurodegenerative diseases as well. So what I've done is create a model of um, this disease in flies where we can give the uh, flies the disease when we want and then we can stop the expression of this bad protein when we want. So this has allowed us to ask a lot of interesting questions and there are some really cool things that we have found. The first thing that we found is that in flies, um, prion diseases are actually reversible, which as you can imagine is really surprising because as the name neurodegenerative implies, we thought that once we give these flies this bad protein, it would just accumulate and then all the cells in the brain would die and degenerate and that would be it. But what we found instead using some functional studies is that this protein actually impairs the ability of neurons, which are cells in the brain, to transmit information to other neurons. And once the protein is gone, then the cells actually regain the ability to send information and they regain that functionality. So again, like very interesting that we didn't find um, a cell death phenotype happening immediately. Um, the second thing that we have found is that there is a protein called the angiotensin converting enzyme, which interestingly in mammals functions to regulate your blood pressure. But in flies, when you express this protein, it actually is a rescuer of prion disease. So bottom line with that is that we don't know how it functions in prion disease to rescue, but we are actively exploring whether it rescues other neurodegenerative diseases as well. And um, so in summary, um, what I want you to remember is that um, even though we are giving flies prion disease in our lab, we also try to cure the flies of the disease because we think it's the right thing to do. <laughs>